Hey guys, welcome. This is Mark with D7. Thanks so much for tuning in today. In this video, I'll cover a great new camera feature called Hyperlight, which is available for the Mavic 2 Pro and the Zoom that takes gorgeous nighttime photos with impressively low noise. This feature works by taking a series of photos, comparing the random noise that appears in each photo, removes the random noise, and blends the photos together to produce the final image. I'll show you a comparison of a standard photo versus a hyperlight photo and the reduced noise artifacts you'll get with hyperlight as well as going over some tips on how to get the best results for your photos. So first we're going to take a normal fully automatic photo. And then we'll take a photo in the hyperlight mode. So you go into the camera settings, select photo, select hyperlight. So here I have the normal photo and I'll go ahead and zoom into the sky where you'll be able to clearly see the noisy artifacts. Then I'll zoom out and zoom into a dark area, the top of the roof there, and again you'll see noisy artifacts. So here in the hyperlight photo I'll zoom into the sky and you'll see it's very evident that there's significantly less noise that's visible. I'll zoom out and zoom into the roof and again in the dark areas very minimal noise is visible. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's see if you can figure out which photo is the hyperlight photo. If you select the bottom right you are correct. So now I'm going to manually adjust the ISO values by clicking on the blue ISO button and I found that bracketing the ISO at 400, 200, and 100 produces photos that are not underexposed nor overexposed. And here's all three photos for an easy comparison. And lastly in fully automatic mode we'll adjust the ISO values. We'll go with the minus two minus one and zero and here's all three photos side by side for easy comparison and so a quick tip here is when you want to accentuate the light trails set it to manual ISO when you want to minimize the light trails set it to auto ISO and adjust the exposure value alright guys so that is it on the screen it summarizes some of the tips and information that I went over in this video this is a really great feature that I think you should be using anytime you take a nighttime photo. Works so great and creates some beautiful photos. Alright, so thanks for watching you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I always appreciate you hitting that like button. That's it. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye.